Hi guys, do you have a single stage dust collector in your shop? So do I. This one just so happens to be the Harbor Freight model, which is a great value for the price point by the way, but I'm sick of after every couple jobs having to come over, empty the dust bag, and shake out the filter bag to get any airflow back into my system. Today, I'm going to convert this single stage system to this dual stage system using a Super Dust Deputy Cyclone from Oneida. Let's get started. So funny story about this top that's on this, uh, I made this a while back when I had an idea for a dual mini cyclone setup, which was super cool and it kind of worked, but it restricted my air flow by about 50%, so obviously that's not going to work for a shop system. So I made this back then and I'm going to try to salvage it now because it's such a beautiful fit in the trash can. I'm going to be bolting my system to the wall and I'm going to bolt it through these boards so I don't have to take anything off and get to it. I'm going to mount everything to this frame using these pieces of three quarter inch ply. Now this is where the motor is going to mount and this one is going to hold the lid of the trash can. This top one I need to drill the bolt holes and actually mount the motor on this before I put it up because I want through bolts with nuts on the back and washers. Oneida is kind enough to give you a template that you can print out on their website. I've already marked out two of the hole locations with my intake over here. Before I attach anything, I'm going to flip the cyclone over and apply the gasket that Oneida is kind enough to supply. You want to make sure you're inside the bolt holes, but you get these flanges on the outside as well. The bolts supplied with the cyclone aren't long enough to extend through my lid, so I had to get some longer two and a half inches. I'm 
now going to make the L brackets to hold the top of the cyclone in place and I'm going to do this using half laps. Since my table saw doesn't have any dust collection, I'm just going to use a circular saw and band saw to do this. Turn these brackets into some super brackets. I'm going to put some half inch ply on the side. I cut these down to 15 by 15 already, and I'm going to mark them out and cut the angle using the circular saw. Now that I got the motor and cyclone aligned where I need it to be, I need to mount the brackets to hold the lid in place. You can see that I have spacers below the trash can, and this is the height I want to hold it at when all systems are go. Didn't think ahead very well when I put these pocket hole screws in to hold the lid to the bracket. So now I'm stuck tightening them down by hand. This little ratchet has come in very handy. So I want to mount the filter underneath like this, so I need to make a lid to go on the top. I think I'm going to hang it by hanging these L brackets above the tub and mounting it on a lid that I make. For this particular dust collector, I'm going to make a lid that has two pieces to it, so an inner lid and an outer lid, so it clips in and I can put screws from the side to mount it sturdily in place. The inner ring has to be about 18 and 15 sixteenths diameter and then I'll make the outer lid anything bigger than that that I can mount the L brackets to. I'm using this awful piece of three quarter inch plywood that I pulled out of my old workbench. I'm going to cover it with a nice piece so it doesn't really matter what it looks like underneath. So I got my tub lid together and I've made the bracket that's going to mount it to the wall. Added some plywood to the L brackets that I made earlier just for some structural assistance. Also want to make sure you fill in the previous mounting holes. I used a couple layers of, I guess it's that tin foil duct tape that you use on the duct.
experience just due to drag. So obviously the you know first the y the y axis sorry the y axis something. Okay. Anyway yeah so I was just saying that I'm surprised that the engine nozzles can't withstand that kind of pressure and force. It's possible to boost back landing on a barge I get but this thing's going so fast. Photo um, that somebody was able to get of the landing pad. Um, what's really cool is that there's just the main landing pad. Eventually they will have a contingency pad who knows. Um, but those contingency pads have this landing. But what's really cool is to watch what happens afterwards. So as a child, for me, I, I don't think I ever actually did anything. They hook a, hook a crane up which holds the top of the To close off the bottom of this filter and to push the air through the filter, I'm going to use this typical 20 inch diameter dust collector bag that I was able to get. I cut it down real quick and I'm going to use the, the band clamp from the original Harbor Freight dust collector which I had to shorten just a little bit. I, I ground out the rivets and pounded some bolts in and mushroomed them over to act as rivets. To empty the dustbin is as simple as pulling out these cams and dropping down the bucket. And if you do have to clean out the filter, it's as simple as blowing some gentle compressed air back in through the filter and then you can clean it out with the dust bag. If drastic measures must be taken, there are only six screws holding this onto this donut and the whole thing will drop right off. Well so far I think this system is great. As for the build, the bracket turned out way better than I thought. Very very sturdy and nothing wiggles around very much at all. Definitely pleased with that. As for the cyclone and filter itself, the Super Dust Deputy is definitely doing a great job. I haven't seen a single chip come through to the clear bag below. I've ran a couple things through the jointer and planer, as you guys saw, haven't seen a single thing. Uh, I definitely think the airflow in the system is up by a good margin. I'm not going to get all scientific about it in this video, but I will run some manometer tests. But I can tell you right now, just for the putting my hand underneath the pipe, there's a lot more airflow. So that's excellent news. If any of you guys would like to possibly build a system like this, I will have a link in the description below to Oneida where you can find the Super Dust Deputy. If you guys have any questions or comments about this build or any of my other videos, please leave them in the comments down below. I'll be sure to answer them. Hammer that thumbs up button. It helps us out a ton. If you're new to the channel, I'd love to have you subscribe so you can see all the videos that we put out. I'm DIY Tyler. You guys have a good one.